Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ta programa damas prosperan de sepoles glosses. Para calume dite suprememastertv.com cath to schedule. The whole day I have been kind of in a battlefield. <laughs> have to uh, think all kind of strategy, you know, <laughs> to get somebody out of trouble, to smooth out the problem. We do that, you know. It's just Maya. It's not even them. They're just an instrument. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Dobar dan means good day in Montenegrin. Wonderful to meet you, friendly viewers. My name is Stefan, sending you best wishes from the faithful people of Montenegro. Montenegro is an outstandingly beautiful country located in the West Central Balkans at the southern end of the Dneric Alps. Its southwestern edge has 150 miles, 240 kilometers of sea coast on the Adriatic Sea. Montenegro's terrain ranges from high mountains along its borders through a segment of limestone terrain and arid hills to fertile, cultivable land with large, primeval forests and grasslands to a narrow coastal plain. The coastal plain disappears completely in the north, where mountain peaks rise abruptly from the inlet of the Gulf of Kotor. The high mountains of Montenegro include some of the most rugged terrain in Europe and average more than 2,000 meters 7,000 feet in elevation. Numerous mammals, including bears, deer, Martins, wild pigs, foxes, and wild cats, and also a rich variety of birds and reptiles inhabit this blessed land. Montenegro is perhaps best known for its rich architectural heritage and medieval murals. One of its most notable structures is the Church of Our Lady of the Rocks on an islet in the enchanting, winding Bay of Kotor, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with its many ancient monuments and well-preserved medieval architecture. The gleaming white 
Astrak Monastery, which is the most important site for Orthodox Christians in Montenegro, rests in a cliff face 900 meters above the Zeta Valley. Adding to all of this remarkable beauty are the very charming, hospitable and beautiful people of Montenegro. It is a pleasure to briefly introduce culturally rich Montenegro to you, kind viewers. We pray for God's boundless love to transform your lives. For over three decades, Supreme Master Qinghai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worship world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worship son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first Sikh Guru, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Kai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. She is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance, as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Chinkai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and the needy, and or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for hears, compassion and love toward hears precious children. Supreme Master Chinkai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Chinkai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments and individuals as well as many awards from them, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day as honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Qinghai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Qinghai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony. Her initiatives to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food product companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as regularly speaking to influential government and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether you are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations by saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Qinghai has traveled worldwide from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania, and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled The Final Battle, Part 2 of 4, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 5, 2005, in Hungary. Ta lặng yên, thế bao chuyện nghiệp Từng lời ca, như mật rót vào tim why do you guys want to stay more than Sunday? Why? Huh? It's your button or not yet? Or your button? <laughs> not yet? Not yet fallen away, no? It's still there? Huh? You really want to stay? So uncomfy. I, I look at you and I feel uncomfortable for you. <laughs> and you can bear it? Your bottom must be made of iron or something. Master, do you have any practical advice how to practice, uh, how to meditate in such a tight place? In such a tight place? Yes, yes. 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 Well, so I many don't, people. I don't know, yes. just sit on top of each other. Or <laughs> I just bring a box. <laughs> yeah. In Burma, there are such practice, you know. If you complain, like, okay, Master, I have pain here, pain there, because I sit too long, I sit lotus, I cannot, then he put you in a box. <laughs> and then if he complain again, he say, Master, I'm so tired, and he say, okay, repeat that. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, until he's tired of it. I say, Master, oh, I have pain. I say, okay, pain, pain, <laughs> repeat it, repeat it. <laughs> so if you feel like it's too tight, you... Just keep repeating it until <laughs> until you forget. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't have to practice here, you go to the trailer. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> no, later. <laughs> later, you can go to the trailer, it's more space, okay? Yeah. Just because I'm here to see people, so a lot of people come together, and, but some of them go to trailer and meditate in the night. Yeah. Hey, voila. Huh? Yes. 
I have some other questions. Um, during the night, I sometimes fall asleep, and I had dreams. This is how I knew that I felt that I fell asleep because I had dreams. They were absolute nonsense, nothing. But there were there was like a lot of them, like 20, 25 of them, different ones. Does it mean that like consciousness is getting clear? <laughs> no, no. No, <laughs> when you sleep, you know, anything, you dream by anything, doesn't that? That's why I say don't sleep. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want a nonsensical dream, then just don't sleep, no? How simple can it be? <laughs> yeah. Come sit with my dogs, ah, the dogs, the three dogs. They snore and keep you awake, you know? <laughs> The little black dog, I put him on top of the sofa. Um, it's a, you know, the trailer has a eating area, eh? with the sofa around it, like built in. So I took one of the cushions to sit in meditation. I told you they don't don't dare to go on. And they dare now. They pop over a little bit and they try two minutes and get up. And the little dog, I put him up here, up there with the bed, no. But uh, later on, it's kind of hot for him or something because high is warmer than downstairs, a lower level. So he go out in the corner of the sofa. He sleep with four legs up. <laughs> oh, incredible! <laughs> I don't know how he sleep like that. I guess two legs, you know, a little bit lean against uh, the wall of the the sofa, yeah, and then all all up like that. I saw him sleep and snoring, you know. Ah, oh, so sweet. Yeah, because uh, it's built in like this, you know? And uh, I took the table away, so there's a, like a U-shape, huh? So I put one big bed there, intended for the bigger guy. But every dog loves that one. If the lady is not there, then the small dog come down. And if the boy will come, and then he go away, but the boy will come, you know? They take turn to take that bed. Uh, everywhere else have bed, but they like that corner very much. I love it. And the black guy is so, so cute. He sleep on the sofa outside of the bed and with the legs up. <laughs> oh, really? The leg in the air, you know? That's funny. Yeah. They're very cute, cute, ex extremely well behaved. Because sometimes I go in the bathroom, wash and all that, and if they happen to lay near the door, even if I don't touch them with the door near, they just walk away and go to another corner, wait until I finish, I close the door, and I come back there later. Yeah. Always so, so extremely intelligent, this beautiful creature. All right. And then uh, sometimes I pat him a little bit, no, before good night, no? Uh, scratching here, and massage here, love, love, love. And then I, I go away, you know, I cannot stay there, I must forever. <laughs> but then I left, I go to my meditation place, and then he follows. <laughs> <laughs> he put his head in front of you, you know. <laughs> you don't have to be psychic. <laughs> you know, like, you don't have to know how to communicate with the animal. They, they do things to make you understand. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like it. In there. Yeah. In the beginning, you know, first day, you know, they don't know what's going on, so they like to go. But when this boy, you know, hug him up, the big boy, the tough guy, always barking and growling. Yeah. So it's okay. when he hug him, he go. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it like enjoying someone and kind of embarrassed a little. I thought he's a tough guy, he might buy or he might grouse or no. <laughs> because he lifted him up in his arm, they clean up a little bit and lifted him up and bring him to my trailer. And he, like, you know, like, I was saying, not crying, but... Whippering. Huh? Whippering. I whippering all the way to, to the trailer and he put like, <laughs> Such a tough guy, you know. <laughs> you look at him, called tough. <laughs> A uh, guard dog and all that stuff. Oh, it's just outside. <laughs> Inside, it's uh, just a spaghetti cooked too long. <laughs> cooked for too long. <laughs> yeah, it's so sweet, so sweet. Yeah, I can't believe they behave like that. It's just so sweet. Yeah. yeah, he's so all soft in his arms, you know. And you know the tough guy, big one. He always looked like uh, something, eh? 
put in the, the, his arm here. <laughs> Enjoy it, you know, and embarrassed. And never, I guess he don't have that experience before or something. Oh, it, it looked like a baby, you know, all melted and soft. And <laughs> so cute. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Just to, you know, ease you up a little bit. Too serious, Buddha is here, I can't bear it. Yeah?关于打坐睡觉的问题。啊?关于打坐睡觉的问题。我现在也闹不清了,我是睡觉也好,还是不睡觉也好。我周围的人全都在拍我的头,拍我的肩,在打我。昨天晚上我就特别的
Although their life was a, was a little bit kind, ascetic, but they were happy. They lived like yogi, you know. <laughs> Anybody can talk to dogs here? No. What did he say? No, huh? Uh, on the first day that I came, um, so other dogs were, were quite normal. They, they, they know what they are doing and they know what's happening here. And just a small black dog came to me and say, said to me, uh, okay, you're okay. <laughs> because the other dogs were not very friendly, came very close to me, but the black dog told me, but you're okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just come say hello, eh? Very nice. Oh, they, the other doctors are uh, not friendly, they don't say much, they just bring bread, bread to you. <laughs> Where's Bobo? He's gone. He's gone, huh? He's doing gardening. He's guarding, okay. See, he, Boyo brought a piece of bread and dropped it in front of Bobo, eh? <laughs> he probably thinks, oh, you big guy needs a lot of food. <laughs> I was so touched, you know. I was so touched as well. Yeah, yeah the black dog is very talkative, eh? You tell me it's cold, it's cold outside. It's so, okay, I bring him in. <laughs> the first day they're in you know, all muddy and everything. I'm worried if we clean them at that night, you know, they'll be all more stressed out because it's first time, so I said, never mind, just jump in. You know, and the black dog always jump all over me. <laughs> But now he doesn't jump anymore, except when I have cheese and, and the other two dogs close him, then he jumps. Because yeah. I say to him, I don't have many clothes, you know? I have only uh, one color each and, and I need it for work, so don't jump, eh? <laughs> so now they sit, you know? You can see them sitting every time. They are very, very intelligent dogs. They, they cool, yeah. <laughs> Get more intelligent all the time. Yeah, dog again? You want to talk about dog? We talk about all kinds of things here, eh? We jump from Buddha to dog at any time. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that book is, but it makes me tired. When I see books, I'm tired. You know? Yeah, it's very difficult to read books for me nowadays. I have a... a a book of poetry, my poetry, since long time already, and they translate it either from English to Vietnamese or Vietnamese English, and they ask me to, to, I would say, revise it. Eh? It's been a year and a half or two years already, I'm still chewing it. <laughs> I can't work on this level anymore, it seems very difficult. So this is the last book and it lasts for a long time, I haven't been able to finish and I have a book called uh, Some Biography of Yogananda. I'm fond of it, but I could never finish. So I carry it everywhere, <laughs> hoping to read it all. Yeah, I just take one page and something, and then I begin to drop somewhere else. And then I read it again, again, the same page. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but that is a, the book with true story, you know, so I like it, yeah. Yes. The, the song that you sing. Song Which song sing you? Which one? I have many, you know? A couple. Yes, could we buy it? Why not? Next time. Not the one the beginning. Yeah. Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, today? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, these days? Oh, no, man. This you call that song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. But I didn't think I have good voice. Oh, yes. Just for fun. Yeah? Okay. Maybe. Thank you. Maybe one day if they edit it or something, you see it. Thank you, you're a very kind audience. <laughs> Was it really? Yes. Yeah. Really? I even cry. You cry? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Huh? What is that? Better than a dog? The dog, they just sleep. <laughs> I like the joke with the, the new script writer. He brought his uh, theater script to the director of the theater to, to, to see. You know, and he said, okay, you read it and you act it out and I see the script, yeah, for play, play. And then uh, 
And then after he finished, he saw that the, the director of the theater was fast asleep, you know, down. And he said, hey, I brought my script here for your opinion. Do you have any kind of opinion to say to me? He said, yeah, sleeping is also a kind of opinion. <laughs> And there was a new writer, you know, he wrote a book, a novel book, and he sent it to a book publisher. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry, in my hurry, you know, when my inspiration came, I always forget to put the comma and the, the period. Yeah, so please uh, help me to do that. Yeah. And uh, the publisher replied, saying, next time, don't bother send the script, just send the comma and the <laughs> so, um, Yeah, jokes is nice. I love jokes, you know, when it's a good joke. That was a Vietnamese joke. Mm, I translate it for you. Mm. Right. Anything else? It seems the uh, more work you have, uh, younger and younger you are. Huh? <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> you sit too far. So <laughs> 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 Check the reality. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you. You are very kind. I like, I like to be young and graceful. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Wow, get some candy. <laughs> no, thank you, but thank you, eh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, just maybe throw a little color on, yeah? So I, I don't want to let to, how you say, disturb your eyesight too much. <laughs> so I throw a little bit of color. It helps. No? Yeah. I mean that inner side is not just the outside. Oh, the inner side, all right. How do you know that? Without the colors, you are still... Small. Without the colors, you still look like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you are good. I know you, you mean it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I wish the same to you, eh? Same to you. And uh, it's like a wounded animal. It gives itself the best, the best fight. I told you, we have only some millions of uh, the other side left, but they are everywhere, they are posted everywhere. But I have to also tell you that it has never been so strong like this before. Before, okay, I have some problem, but it's no big deal and, you know, very slow pace, you know. But now, almost like every day or every week, it's incredible, it's unbelievable that things really happen. Oh, sometimes I got tired also. You know, the physical body and, and the mind get tired. It seems like that. Yes? Everything's, everything's going faster and faster. Yeah, so. that's why. Oh, I can't believe this. But that's a good sign. That means the, the karma changed so fast. Wow. <laughs> Um, yeah, the whole day I have been kind of in the battlefield. <laughs> I have to uh, think all kind of strategy, you know, <laughs> to get somebody out of trouble, to smooth out the problem, to do that, you know. It's just Maya, it's not even them, they're just an instrument. It's just one after another, like this, almost every day something. You, almost every day something. Well, you're sitting here all quiet. <laughs> yeah. No wonder the old time, the master of Shaolin, they must have also <laughs> muscle, eh? <laughs> Strong power to protect the, uh, I say the, the principle. All right, and I still look younger, hey. That's a good news. That's good news.
maybe too much exercise, <laughs> you know, flexing you know, on my muscle and the brain and, yeah, yeah. That's the exercise that keeps you fit and healthy and young, no? <laughs> yeah. I'm fighting every day, so keep me fit. Don't worry, they are dying, that's why, yeah? Negative power, dying. Just a few only and then my trouble. Never mind, never mind. It's a game, you know? It's a game. If it concerns me, I don't really care so much, but they never get me. They always get the small, lowly and weak. Sometimes I scream at them and say, you coward. <laughs> yeah, come here and get me. <laughs> Pick the one of your size. <laughs> yeah. I guess they don't want to fight me because I look so small and fragile. You know? They worry the whole universe will laugh at them, you know. <laughs> they, they just pick anything that concerning me or near me so to get me. They don't even pick me. They are not direct. Like when I'm not there, they attack the center. When I'm not there, attack my attendant. When I'm not there, I go inside, jump the fence and say this and that and threaten them, scare them to, to death, <laughs> you know and make the whole day like hell, yeah. I have to call, you know, secretly tell them, hey, don't worry, don't worry, yeah, don't worry, it, it will be okay. And they say, how, you know, how? <laughs> I also say, I don't know how, but it will be okay. <laughs> it will be okay, just, just hang on, let me think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Magnanimous viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Final Battle, Part 2 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from the Astral City, Chapter 3, Collective Prayer on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you always be in the company of the Divine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.